So at Pure Brews, we're always looking for bold beers and crazy characters. Today, this brings us to Marshall, Michigan. That's right, if you love delicious food, awesome beer, maybe you want Slayer tattooed into your forearm, and who doesn't? You can find all that here and more done with a blue collar work ethic at Dark Horse Brewing Company. If you haven't been to Dark Horse, you haven't been to a brewery. Yeah, we like it, it's one of our favorites. Marshall is located just outside of Battle Creek, but people come from all over the state to be a part of Dark Horse Nation. You know, I, I've been to a lot of different craft beer places, and Dark Horse is by far the best beer I've ever had. One thing we like is the beer. I mean, it's one of the more unique places in this area. There's not too many places you come to and see, you know, this many mugs hanging. We had a one review, and a guy said that it looked like a garage sale threw up in our tap room. That might actually be a pretty fair review, but the fans of Dark Horse wouldn't have the brew pub any other way. I love it. It's great atmosphere, great people. It's just a really good ambience here to be able to have a lot of fun here. It's just a good atmosphere, good people, good town. Never had bad service ever here. It's a very family-oriented place, and it's very community-oriented, too. And it doesn't matter if you're from Marshall or if you come hundreds of hours away. We want you to come in here and feel like you're a part of the family and part of Dark Horse Station. But when you come to Dark Horse, there's a feeling that you get that everybody belongs. You know, it's an everybody place. It's an everybody beer. It's probably one of the better places in the area to come if you want a really good craft beer. You got to go see. You got to go eat. You got to go drink. There's no other way around it. You got to do all three. The place looks pretty spectacular right now, and that's due to the hard work Aaron Morse and his crew have put into their facility. When I was going to college, my parents owned a bar, and they hit me up about remodeling it and doing this and that. And of course, I was into beer, and I was like, hey, we should, we should open a brew pub. Uh, we went to Northern, and we started uh, tasting a lot of different craft breweries, uh, microbreweries, and Aaron became really interested, but we're also very poor, so at that time he thought, hey, I'm gonna try to brew my own beer. And so he brewed his own beer in the dorm rooms at, at Northern, and that's kind of where he got the love of it. And in the meantime, his parents had a business here in Marshall, and he decided to come back and open up a microbrewery, and his parents gave us a little space, and we started from there. It was a very, very tiny operation. Well, it's cool to wake up every day and say, hey, I'm going to work. One, I get to see my mom every day. Two, I get to see my wife every day. Uh, and three, some of the best friends a guy could ask for. We see how hard Aaron and Christy and Callie all work and, and it just rubs off on us, you know. So yeah, we're here to have a good time and it's beer and so we don't really take ourselves very serious but we take the business very serious and the craft very serious. But but you wouldn't tell by walking around the place, you know, everybody's got a smile on their face or joking around or we're allowed to be creative. We're not stuck inside of any sort of box. And so uh, sky's the limit as far as ingredients or styles or making stuff up. And so we'll just, yeah, throw out the rule book and go for it. Make our own rules here at Dark Horse, right? We like big multi-mouth explosion beers. And I mean, that's the comments we get from people, you know, that our beers are so full of flavor. And we want to drink the beer we make. And so we make what we like. First we're going to try a uh, Crooked Tree uh, IPA, Indy Pale Ale. 42% of all of our production last year was Crooked Trees. This is our most popular of our flagships, our year-round beers. My favorite beer on planet Earth. It has been since I walked through the doors. Well, you know, as an IPA, it's like, uh, it's nice and bitter. I like the bitter part of it. It just tastes so darn good. And I don't have to drink eight of them to feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly balanced with malt and hops. So, you know, you get citrus, pine, all the good things that come from hops. This beer has always been approachable. One thing I hate about IPAs is when they just cram a bunch of hops into a beer and it's got a malt backbone. You know, there's some sweetness to go along with the hops there. It's not this lingering, nasty bitterness that stays in your mouth. There's some sweetness jumping around in there with it. So it makes it really drinkable. Dark Horse is known for their popular brew pub events, one of which brings the taste of the cell to the town of Marshall. Uh, the crawdad boil, that was awesome. Crawfish boil is one of our biggest events of the year. Crawfish boil was, was a party we actually started at the original brew pub. Um, a guy that worked there brought up the idea and I thought, you know, hey, that's a good idea. You don't see that very often in the you know, Midwest. We actually fly in uh, crawfish from Louisiana, so they actually take a flight here. Um, we cook them all on site that day. Bunch of bands, bunch of beer. Have a good time. Beer! 
We got the raspberry ale here. With real raspberries. With, made with real raspberries. With raspberry, this is number two beer for us as far as uh, uh, sales going out the door. When we do fruit beers here at Dark Horse, and this is something that I learned from Aaron immediately, was you know, if you're gonna do a fruit beer, you're gonna make a beer, and then you're gonna put fruit in it. So it's a beer, it's a solid, you know, well put together wheat beer in this case, and then it's got a little kiss of raspberry, so it, it, it kind of turns a little pink, so it's real pretty, um, and then and then you get that little bit of tartness uh, in the finish of this beer, but it's not anything over the top as far as, you know, sucking on raspberry syrup or something yeah. like that. I, I don't, that doesn't even sound good to me. <laughs> They make the best raspberry ale that I've ever had. A lot of the fruit beers, they say they're kind of girly beers, or that's a girl beer. We get more guys that drink raspberry than almost anything. And as you get, you know, those big strong guys or big bikers walking off the street, give me a raspberry, you know? Yeah. And it's like, it, it's a beer for everybody. Just because it has fruit in it doesn't mean uh, dudes can't drink it, so. Crooked Tree IPA and raspberry ale seem like perfectly normal names. But don't be surprised if you run into a beer whose name might not make any sense. You know, the Ert de Kirks, uh, a lot of people are, what, what is that? What is de Kirk Ertz? Well, it's crooked tree backwards. You know, a lot of times we open books and we close our eyes and we point a finger and wherever it lands, that's what we name a beer. You know, we have a five-year plan. We're looking to be at 100,000 barrels in five years. In 10 years, we should be at full world domination. So that's our goal here is conquer the world via Dark Horse beer. So every household in the world has a Dark Horse beer in their fridge, and then we got them, right? <laughs>